Hello. Buongiorno. It's a beautiful day in Tuscany. Let me show you where I am. I'm walking towards the hill town of Cortona. Ciao, Bella. Nice to see you. Let me just turn around. Hello, Bella. How are you? Hi, darling. I'm in Cortona. It's a hill town in Tuscany. Uh, about an hour and a half away from Firenze. It's great to see you all. Welcome to another TJI Friday. We're not in Florence. We're actually in Tuscany. Hi, darling. Hi, Judy. Hi, Sue. Good morning. Great to see you. So let me just start with introducing myself. My name is Linda. I am a local tour operator in Firenze, Italy Customized. I'm originally from Firenze, from Firenze, what? I'm originally from Australia. Not with that accent, you're not originally from Firenze, love. And I organize multi-day vacations. Ciao, belli, ciao, all over, all over Italy. Also the French Riviera and the Greek islands. Now, let me show you where I am. I am standing at the entry of Cortona, but before we actually walk into the town centre, I want to show you a view from this piazza, this square at the entry point of the hill town of Cortona. Ciao Giuliana, ciao Ginger. And now if I walk, you can see in the distance, perhaps you can see the view. So you can see this gorgeous view. Now, it's a, it's a really incredible time um, to visit Tuscany because July is very, very warm. But what's really beautiful, I don't know if you can see all the little yellow, kind of bright yellow patches through the countryside. That's actually sunflowers. Yes, sunflower fields beautiful fields of sunflowers so the really the only time in Tuscany that you see these beautiful fields is in July and August when it's very very warm gira sole ciao bob buongiorno so turning to the sun so it has to be very very warm for the sunflowers to grow and that's why we only see them twice a year so you can see this very bright beautiful color of the sunflowers and right in the distance over here so we're basically looking out onto a lake called Lake Trasimeno. Lake Trasimeno is the fourth largest lake in Tuscany no sorry in Italy and we're actually between regions so this area here is all Tuscany and the lake is Lake Trasimeno in Umbria okay so let's go into the hill town. Now the hill town of Cortona is about 450 meters above sea level. Um, the walled, uh, it's a walled city and actually part of the wall is still Etruscan. We have a really important Etruscan uh, museum in the historical center and a lot of tombs that have been found around the area of uh, Cortona. Now let me just show you because over here we can actually see some of the original Etruscan walls. So Etruscan, we're talking um, over 2000 years ago. Uh, this was uh, an important Etruscan uh, city. Now, let me just show you over here, the wall. So this part of the wall is actually Etruscan. This base part here, the tufo, all on the base is Etruscan. So very, very beautiful. And um, Cortona has become very, very famous over the years. I'm sure you've heard about a movie called Under the Tuscan Sun uh, that was filmed part here, but it was mostly because of a, um, a, an American writer called Francis Mays who wrote a book 
about restoring uh, property just up in the foothills um, above the historical center. Now just above the historical center is also a beautiful boutique hotel called Monastero uh, del Cortona. It was actually a monastery. In fact, when you drive around this area, um, all through the hill towns, uh, you can actually see very high up on the hill, um, beautiful properties. Many of them are actually monasteries. This monastery has been transformed to a beautiful uh, boutique hotel and it's gorgeous because you can actually walk into uh, the city center of Cortona. Now let me show you the main street, it's so beautiful. Now at the Monastero del Cortona is where we, Italy Customized, together with Così Bella Travels, are, uh, have created a wonderful week in Tuscany for you from the, oh look at that, gelato, from the 10th to the 16th of October, food, wine and fly fishing. Now, for those of you who may not really be into fly fishing, that's fine. We actually have other excursions for you while those are fly fishing away. We have a wonderful visit to the Busati. This is 200 years um, of working in the linen industry, the same family who own a, a beautiful property in the medieval town of Anghiari. We're gonna head up to Anghiari and visit the Busati uh, factory and the family run business and then have lunch in the area. And then on another day when uh, we have fly fishing, we'll actually enjoy a cooking class. So there's lots of activities. You don't necessarily have to be into fly fishing. Now, if you are into fly fishing, um, we have Luca, a wonderful um, fly fisherman, who um, will be taking you on the excursions to the Fiume Nera. So um, Umbria, we have the uh, little rivers that make their way into the Tiber, okay, the Tiber, which runs towards south. Rome, okay? And this is a fantastic area to find, to fish for trout. And also, during the excursion, we'll also have a wonderful, um, wonderful sommelier and wine expert who actually owns a wine bar in the historical center called Molesini. We'll also head over to Spello uh, to meet the Angelini family, uh, where we'll have lunch there and also a wine tasting. So it'll all be about food, wine, culture, everything that I always talk to you about. And that's exactly what Cosi Bella Travels is about as well. And we actually have the owners on, the, uh, on our live at the moment. We have Ginger and Bob with us. And uh, we are so excited. Hello, Lorraine. Hi, darling. Hi, Sue. Hi from Aspen. Um, we're excited to, to take you uh, on this wonderful experience from the 10th to the 16th. Wow, look at the chairs going all the way up this little of October. If you want to find out more information, just go onto my website, www.italycustomized.it. I just love the little guys walking down the street. Oh my gosh, look at that. And uh, just scroll down and you can click on the program. Uh, you can see all of the information. We'll have a small group uh, for October uh, 2021 and uh, October 2022. So if you miss out this year, it's okay because we're going to have another um, wonderful week uh, in Cortona. Wow, look at the kitchen over there. Um, from the 10th to the 16th of October. This is what I love about uh, Cortona. I mean, many of the hill towns of, um, of Tuscany have this charm. There's great shopping in this city great shopping so the great thing about the program we're just staying a walking distance uh, just kind of a walk down the hill um, to arrive in the historical center you'll have plenty of time to shop and sightsee as well have a little bit of free time and so you can um, enjoy the historical center now let's have a look around uh, there's a few people here there's some great stores there's some local leather stores uh, the local bar and here we can see in the square, if you um, did watch the movie Under the Tuscan Sun, oh, look how beautiful 
this gallery of Il Pozzo is. Gorgeous. And so if you did watch the movie, you probably thought there was a fountain in this piazza. But actually they built a fountain in the square. I can vouch for the shopping year, but you want Mary and me here years ago. We certainly contributed to the local economy. Yeah, the shopping in Cortona is particularly um, wonderful. Um, and you have this kind of main street, um, the high street where you can find uh, lots of great, great products, beautiful ceramics. Here we can see uh, the town hall in the piazza. Oh, there is great shopping in Cortona, Ginger, you're right. And here we're passing by, we can see the store of Marco Molesini. And we'll actually head inside, we'll meet him uh, during the, um, the week. Uh, and you'll ha have the chance to actually spend the morning with him and also have dinner with him. So he's a local uh, sommelier wine expert and his store has been in the piazza since 1937. Look at this. He's a family, it's a family run store. And um, I tell you every year when we have fr the fresh extra virgin olive oil, I always come out here to buy um, extra virgin olive oil from uh, Marco. He has such an excellent um, selection of olive oil and wine. And you're gonna get to learn all about that. Um, with Marco. Me, I'll be there as well for two or three days and um, also Giovanni, another fantastic personality that lives um, very close to uh, the, the historical center. Look at this piazza, how beautiful it is. Okay, so airport, you could fly into Rome um, because actually Cortona is um, just off the um, A1 Autostrada. So you could be coming from Rome or even Firenze. It doesn't really make a difference. It's the same distance, maybe a little further from Rome, but it's a very direct drive because you have the Autostrada um, that will bring you directly to, um, to, the, um, to the town centre. And there's, there are actually a lot of uh, beautiful properties to stay at, agriturismo and um, boutique hotels to stay at out, out of the city centre. But that's what's really nice about the Monastero di Cortona is it's actually in the historical centre. And up this way, we find the, um, the Maec which is a very important um, museum, Etruscan museum. Maybe it was over here, Judy, where you bought, no, it was this, I remember you bought those beautiful cloth linens. Maybe it was this store that's closed. Look how beautiful this store is. Trains are very easy from Florence as well. Yeah, so you could also get the train um, to Arezzo, Camuccia, or, um, or even Cortona, there's actually a train station, Cortona, where one can pick you up. Um, a direct train, um, ideally, would actually be um, from Rome even. You could actually um, take the train from Rome as well to arrive uh, in, at the train station of Cortona. And here we have the Etruscan Museum. And look at how beautiful. I bought some ceramics there, yes, 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 not linens. And there is my favorite, one of my favorite restaurants up here um, called Osteria del Teatro. That is just fantastic. I'd ask you, I'd better to drive me there. Yeah, exactly, yeah, you get a driver. Um, from Firenze or if yeah from the airport of Rome it's two and a half hour drive and here we make our way up up the hill you know hilltop towns you have to walk a little bit you have to climb to arrive at all of these fantastic places and as we pass by the theatre the Teatro Signorelli we make our way towards the 
Ristorante, gorgeous little cafes. It's such a, a, a great town. It really is um, a town where you can shop, sightsee, and just also enjoy um, uh, the locals. A lot of locals live in, uh, in Cortona. This area is uh, quite a farming, a farming area. Of course, we have, um, we're close to Montepulciano. We have the Nobile di Monte, Montepulciano. Ah, I just found a tap. It's like 35 degrees. I'm just gonna have a sip, huh? Hi, Catherine. We love this little cafe too. Ah, oh, guys, some aqua. Yeah, so um, we have the Nobile di Montepulciano. Cortona, the hills of Cortona are known for Syrah. Syrah wine. Oh, there's my favorite restaurant. I'm going to show you. It's so beautiful. Maybe some of you I bought here. Yeah. Um, in the winter look how beautiful it is it's called here's the name if any of you remember it Osteria del Teatro guarda che bella it's there this beautiful restaurant with the beautiful little trees plants look how gorgeous everywhere you walk there's beauty it's just Tuscany with a grey pietra sirena stone floors. Did I cut out a little? Can you hear me? So the tagliolini, like the tagliatelle, ini, means a little thinner, okay? So thinner strips of pasta with octopus. Oh my gosh, how good. So we're inland, obviously, even on our um, week in Tuscany, we'll be tasting um, the local food. I'm back. Yeah, it happens in these, these little towns. We, uh, the internet doesn't always work so well. Can I see, can you see me now? Belly? I'm just walking back down to the main street so that you can see more beauty. Can you see me now, guys? Yeah? Let me know, connects and goes. Maybe the high walls around you. Yeah, yeah, I have to go back to the main street. I got um, sidetracked on these beautiful little streets that lead all the way up towards the boutique hotel. Now I'm going to make my way back down so that you can see part of the historical center again. Look how pretty it is. So I was talking about wine when we arrive at this uh, Nobili di Montepulciano. Um, so we have Sida and we have, look how beautiful all the little flowers are. Oh, good. It's working again. And the um, Montepulciano wines. So you will taste a selection of wines. Oh, good. There's a nice view here. I could, if I go up this way, I'll show you a nice view of the historical center. Look at all the beautiful little homes and the charming little streets that take you to restaurants and bars and gorgeous shops like this one this is the pharmacy uh, of santa maria novella which is one of the most beautiful perfumeries um, coming from firenze you can see if we can get a view over here of the piazza let's have a look there we are Look at that view. Isn't it spectacular? All the little homes, boutique hotels, pretty restaurants, wine bars, where you can enjoy local wine, 
food. So what's in season in October? So we have just, just, we would have just ended the wine harvest, going into the olive oil harvest, a little bit of mushroom in season. So a little bit of porcini will be in season and truffle, the dark truffle, not so much the white. The white truffle is typically in November. Um, seasonal vegetables uh, will have a lot of yummy, hearty seasonal vegetables in season. And of course, we're going to taste the Kiana beef, the typical beef that is coming from Tuscany. This is a very lean uh, meat that is um, served, typically you get around 700 grams each. Um, and it's just seared on each side for a few minutes, served with seasonal vegetables and, and greens. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful experience that you have to have when you're in Tuscany. And we're going to take you to a very special place in Montepulciano. Now, I've climbed all the way up to the municipality so I can show you. Guarda questa vista meravigliosa. Allora, from... The beautiful red flowers. Oh, actually, I should start with the door. I'm not going to fall down the stairs. Hang on. Let me go back here. Ah, oh, Lord. Here we can see this medieval um, town hall. The beautiful flowers out here. Private homes. Look at that little balcony up there. How cute that is. Medieval towers. and wonderful place to sit and just enjoy the beautiful scenery. Look at all those beautiful red geraniums up there that you can see kind of make, as we make our way down towards the main entrance. So there's actually, um, let me just sit here in the shade for a second. There's actually um, four main doors uh, to arrive into the historical center and um, you know it's it's a continuous uh, beauty and places to visit so you're going to have lots to experience and I hope you can make it just check out my um, the program on my website um, food wine and fly fishing in Tuscany in October and for any of you who are coming out to Tuscany soon and thinking about visiting Cortona, you can see how beautiful it is. And it really is worth a stop. Um, if you're coming from Rome or even Florence, even three or four nights in the, um, in the area is ideal. So I'm actually staying here all weekend because I'm meeting up with some of our um, local experts for the program. So I'll be doing a little bit of video and photos. So stay tuned because I'll be um, filming a lot and, and posting as well. I'm staying right near the uh, Lake Trasimeno and you can actually swim in the lake. Um, and there's also two islands in the middle of the, 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 the lake. So that's uh, gorgeous to have a look at all over the, the, the weekend. I've got the weekend full of great stuff to experience. And thank you again for listening to me. Another TGI um, Friday in Tuscany, in Cortona. Thank you so much, Belly. And for those newbies, please, if you want to keep following me, I'm here every Friday at three in the afternoon. Uh, typically in Florence, but if I'm somewhere else, I'll open and, and show you where I am. Um, Linda, a local tour operator based in Florence. Italy Customize is the name of my company. Thank you for following me. Have a great uh, weekend. Tanti baci. Ciao a tutti.